Hello everyone, I am Deepak Paliwal. In the previous lecture, we have learned about uh, various uh, partial dislocations and uh, with the help of partial dislocation, there is a formation of extended region which we called as a uh, stacking fault region. So in this lecture, we will try to understand firstly what is stacking fault and uh, the type of partials in case of the FCC system. So let's start with the help of uh, this uh, diagram to understand the stacking faults. So firstly, uh, let, let me have a layer which is called which is I am calling as A layer. Okay, this is our A layer. So this is our A layer. The atom belongs to A layer I am calling as a, a layer atom. Now there is the different ways if I want to put the other layers then there is a different ways in which I can uh, put my atoms over this layer. So very first uh, simple way to put the atom over the A layer is just, just over the center of each atom. Like my next layer atom will be uh, what I am saying just uh, uh, with the help of diagram I am explaining. Suppose this is my A layer. What I am highlighting is uh, like this is my A layer. Okay. So now what I can do if I put my next layer just over it so there is no difference between my A layer and the next layer which I have uh, put over the A layer so A layer becomes uh, the next layer becomes A layer again so this is a, a type of stacking so such type of stacking if I done then the structure which uh, which will be obtained is uh, known as uh, simple cubic now instead of uh, putting a layer or uh, instead of putting next layer over the a layer if i put the a layer in the voids of the a layer then uh, we will see what will form let me have this uh, next layer okay this next layer i am putting over the voids so if i put this a uh, this next layer over the a layer in the voids of the a layer atoms then the layer form obviously it will not be the same as the a layer so on the basis of the position i am calling calling this layer as a b layer because it is uh, put on the different locations that means its coordinate will be different as compared to the a layer so this layer is different so this layer becomes the b layer okay suppose in the case of the third layer again if i put the atom just over over the a layer atom uh, what I am saying, let me uh, take a, another layer. If I put this layer again over the A layer atom after B, then my stacking becomes like A layer, B layer and again A layer. So such type of uh, stacking arrangement, let me write. I have put A layer over the voids of the A layer. I am putting B layer and again I am putting A layer. Uh, again I am putting the next layer just above the A layer atoms that means this layer becomes again A. So this type of arrangement AB, AB type is belongs to SCP uh, structure. Okay, now come to our uh, main topic of discussion which is FCC. Now if in case of the next layer, let me have next layer. Okay, if I am putting this next layer in the remaining voids of A layer like this. Then now see, I have put A layer in the voids of A layer, I am putting B layer and the remaining voids of A layer, I am putting the C layer. So now I have three different layers. So if I write the stacking arrangement, A layer, B layer, C layer. Again, if I uh, repeat in the similar fashion, then again it will go A layer, B layer, C layer. So my stacking arrangement will be ABC, 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 which belongs to the FCC. Uh, structure now we want to understand the stacking for now uh, as we know the perfect dislocation dissociate into the parcels and why perfect dislocation I am writing this perfect dislocation dissociate into the parcel dislocations if I say parcel dislocations so I am mainly uh, uh, referring to the Schokle parcels which is uh, 1 by 6, uh, 1, 1, 2 type. Okay. So, 
my one one zero partial one one zero perfect dislocation dissociating into the one by six one one two partial. Why it is dissociating dissociation uh, happening in this uh, perfect dislocation, which I have explained in the previous lecture. Like if the energy of my uh, perfect dislocation reduces in the process of dissociation, like I am writing this energy is reducing in the process of dissociation then the partial dislocation forms okay so when the partial dislocation forms so there will be uh, there will be generation of extended region that extended region is called as stacking fault i will explain how the stacking fault is forming uh, suppose in my this layer which i have uh, shown over here okay let me have this okay so my atom at this point uh, let me have different color so my atom at this particular point which is represented by the green layer it wants to move to other other uh, position which is the same position like uh, our tra uh, translation happening with the help of Berger vector and Berger vector represents what Berger vector represents the translation uh, the shortest latest translation which conserve our all the symmetries so the moment of the perfect dislocation will be from I am writing one point to the two point but this is not energetically favorable because it has to let me draw another diagram here suppose this is my atom this is my atom this is my atom so this atom wants to move from this position to this position so this is my Berger vector moment okay of a perfect dislocation but it has to overcome this barrier and then it will come to the second position so instead of that if you if you can see what what it can do it can go to this void and again come to this void like there will be a second path i am calling is the two dash point okay from one to two days and two days to two position it can come like with the help of voids or the remaining void of the uh, a layer it can go from 1 to 2 days and 2 days to 2 so during the process of moving atom from one point to uh, one location to 2 days or 2 days to 2 there will be generation of the parcels and these parcels are known as the Shockley parcels and the Shockley parcels index are uh, 1 by 6 1 1 2 type okay so to understand the concept of uh, partial in case of the FCC there is a uh, there is a very famous uh, concept known as the Thomson tetrahedron so why tetrahedron only let me draw a cubic unit cell this is our cubic unit cell okay if I draw let me draw the planes with a different color okay so this is my 111 plane actually I am calling this uh, 0, 0, 0 is my origin so this is my 111 plane if I draw uh, another plane it would be like this again if I draw another planes let me have a different color okay so this is like this so this is one plane second plane third plane fourth plane so by drawing different uh, planes in uh, FCC unit cell I, I am having four independent uh, one 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 type plane four independent 111 type of plane by combining all these planes I am having a geometry known as tetrahedron so if I open this tetrahedron then I will have a Thomson tetrahedron which can explain all types of perfect dislocations all type of planes all type of parcel dislocations okay mainly the Sokle parcels okay so uh, in what plane the cross slip can take place it all can be explainable with the help of Thomson tetrahedron so how Th Thomson tetrahedron, tetrahedron can be formed uh, let me draw this tetrahedron uh, outside from this uh, cubic unit set okay this is our uh, tetrahedron okay let me have naming a b c 
D. Now in front of the A, so this is my vertex vertex A. So just opposite to opposite face of the A and the mid uh, midpoint at the centroid of that uh, triangular face, what I am uh, uh, observing just opposite to A is alpha. In the similar fashion, just opposite to the B on the face at the centroid will be our beta and in uh, opposite from uh, C position that will be a gamma and just opposite to the D phase that will be your delta. Now I want to open it. Suppose if I do open this uh, tetrahedron then what will happen? Uh, there will be uh, I have a diagram for that. So, yes, this is the diagram. So what I have done here, I have just opened it. Just I have opened it. Okay. Uh, let me erase it first. Then let me draw. I have just opened it. Okay. So this is our one plane, second plane, third plane and fourth plane. Okay. So with the help of this, Okay, this is all centroid, centroid, centroid of these phases. So here uh, we have a diagram. This is easily available online sources. So this is taken from the online source. Okay, so what we can understand from this Thomson tetrahedra, like we have different planes. Okay, so mainly we have plane like one one one. Okay, I am called one 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 bar one 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 bar one bar one and another plane is one 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 bar. Okay, so these are our uh, independent planes. So uh, how how I can read uh, this Thomson tetrahedra? Suppose I am calling uh, looking at the plane A B D. Okay, so now I have perfect dislocation, uh, perfect dislocation one zero one. Okay the arrow indicates the direction of uh, direction of this uh, particular uh, direction of this particular dislocation perfect dislocation so i am uh, also writing the ad okay so how this uh, perfect dislocation can dissociate on this particular plane it will dissociate uh, like this in the form of d gamma plus gamma a okay so the ad dissociates into the d gamma and gamma a okay any dislocation if you take suppose i am taking on this abc plane adc plane okay so how the ad dislocation can dissociate ad dislocation can dissociate a beta plus beta d in the upcoming lectures we will also learn about the dislocation like uh, alpha alpha uh, alpha beta okay alpha gamma so these are different type of uh, dislocation uh, mainly we call as a uh, steroid type of uh, dislocation so here uh, we are uh, talking about uh, uh, sogle parcels there are other kind of dislocations parcel dislocations also like a alpha b beta these parcels are frank parcels so these frank parcels have miller indices like this uh, 111 1 by 3 111 1, 1. this uh, steroid type of dislocation i am talking about this is 1 by 6 110 type so here we are not going to learn detail details of this uh, dislocation we will learn in the next lecture so here i am uh, just uh, emphasizing on the fact how to read the thomson tetrahedra so here uh, i have taken the example of ad ad is uh, dissociated into the d gamma and gamma a so now we have indices here let me write here ad dissociated into d gamma gamma a so ad has uh, indices uh, 101 101 uh, let me write this 1 by 2 okay and then uh, d gamma indices is 112 this is 1 by 6 type okay plus uh, here here we can observe that uh, the arrow is uh, opposite to the direction what we are looking so we are going gamma to a so we have to reverse the sign like 1 by 6 here we have what bar 2 so it will be positive to 
one is positive so it will be negative one and uh, one is uh, here negative so it would be positive one so we can check it also uh, just uh, if i add this to uh, dislocation i will come up to this dislocation if i come up to this dislocation then only this uh, equation is correct let's have check 1 by 6 this will be 3 this will be 0 and uh, this will uh, again 3 so 3 will be common okay so this 101 so again this is 101 that means this indices are correct and uh, this dissociation i have already explained uh, why disso dissociation is feasible or when dissociation is feasible when it follows the frank rule uh, frank rule says based on the energy criteria like if the energy of the ad dislocation is uh, more than the sum of this uh, energy of the sum of these parts then only the dissociation can take place so now the second thing or the second aspect we can understand from the thomson tetrator let me have another example to understand it better now i am dissociating a perfect dislocation db in two partials of d gamma plus gamma b okay so db has a dislocation like 1 by 2 0 1 1 okay now it is dissociating dissociating into uh, partial like 1 by 6 what what is what is written here 1 1 2 we have to understand these arrows actually so again uh, this uh, gamma b okay is in opposite direct opposite sense so we have to change the sign here so this will be minus 1 bar 1 2 1 okay so again we can check it okay so that in this way the dissociation can happen and we can easily understand with the help of this thomson tetrahedra so another thing uh, what so from the thomson tetrahedra what we can uh, uh, explain all independent planes all planes all type of dislocations when i say dislocations that means i am talking about the perfect one another one all types of partials another aspect uh, like uh, which kind of perfect dislocation can cross slip like phenomena of cross slip we can understand with the help of thomson tetrahedra like uh, this uh, i am talking about this particular uh, 1 bar 1 0 type of perfect dislocation so it cannot directly cross uh, cross slip to the adc plane uh, it is lying in the uh, abc and adc adb plane so it can cross slip from acb plane to the abd plane only so what i am saying like my uh, dislocation let me erase it first i am saying like my uh, ab dislocation which is the perfect one can cross slip over uh, from a c b plane to a b d plane okay so why i am saying the cross slip only happens when there is a common per, uh, common dislocation line between the two planes like that in case of uh, abc and abd there is a common line is ab so the, the dislocation can cross slip or obviously if i am talking about the cross slip so my i am talking about the screw dislocation which has the both the burger vector and the line vectors are parallel to each other so the cross slip is happening from abc plane to abd plane when there is the common line vector between these two planes then only the cross slip is possible again if i take example of ac dislocation so now ac dislocation can cross slip from adc to abc plane okay because there is a common line vector between these two planes so with the help of thomson tetrahedra we can understand the cross slip as well so in the next lecture we will talk more about the deformation uh, deformation related phenomena uh, phenomena in the fcc material till then bye bye thank you for watching this video